Hi, I'm Nixie, and in today's video we're going to be looking at some more mini brands fashion capsules. You know, I knew it wouldn't take too long for me to get some more of these because I really like this series 3. And with 80 plus minis to collect, I've still got quite a lot to go. So I've got two of these twin packs from Amazon to look through today. But I thought instead of just opening them, we'd also try and make outfits out of whatever we get inside. And to do that, we're going to need a model. So I got this doll because I saw she was down to 19.99 on Amazon. Although, because I got one with a damaged box, she was £19.17. So here she is out the box and she comes with her certificate of authenticity. She is a 2022 holiday Barbie. And she also has a doll stand. So I got her because I was thinking, in my sort of doll lineup, I don't really have a more sort of classic looking Barbie. And I just thought she was quite pretty. Plus she doesn't have a pixelated face, which a lot of the more standard Barbies do. But obviously if she wants to join the lineup, she's going to have to have a made to move body. Now I'm thinking looks number eight. Looking at the screen, I think looks number eight looks a little bit warmer toned than her. But in real, I think it's not a bad match. So let's get them in some water and swap those heads around. So while their heads are softening, let's open our first capsule and see what we get. Not the most satisfying to open this one. So inside we have, right, let's see what bag we have first. And it is, so it's a golden perfume bottle. It has a chain handle and it does actually open. I was a bit worried there if it would. Although typical, I get a doll with red lipstick and the first thing we get, it's got like the pink, what is that bit? It's like, like a puffer thing? I don't know what that's officially called. But yes, I wonder if the shoes are going to be pink. We'll see. Right, so accessories are... Yes, I was right, it's pink shoes. It's fine, we can, we'll just style it out. She can have red lipstick and pink accessories. So these are pink flats with little gold square details. And they do have a very tiny buckle, which I'm sure is going to be very fun to get on the doll. We then have this scarf, which is orange with a chain pattern, which... Pink and orange. This, this is going to be interesting. The last accessory, however, I really like. So it's a... I assume it is a belt, but like with the little charms on. So you've got a bag charm, a MF mini fashion charm, heart and a little shoe. And three of those are repeated on the other side. It has a little hook so that you can loop it. That's cute, I like that. The other items, meh, but that, that I like. Let's just have a quick look at the collector's guide to see what I'm hoping for. As these are ultra rare, I assume they all come together. Don't mind this set, the bag's cute and the belt is. Cat, not necessarily fast with, and the shoes, they look alright. And then in the commons, those are all nice plain bags, don't mind those. Any of those I'd be happy with, and you know, red bag with her lipstick, that'd be good. The paint cans I'd prefer not, and I do already have the blue one, but the clear bag's okay. These bags, I'll take them. So that's what we've got. Could have an interesting heart bag. I mean, it's a choice. That's kind of sweet. Those are quite plain, don't mind them, and I do already have this one, which is nice. So for these ones, I've already got those two, which again are nice bags. That I'd probably prefer not. Shoes, I like those, I like those, I've got those, but wouldn't say no to another pair. Heels, I'm not necessarily fussed by, and I do have that pair. So we've then got trainers and some slippers. All of those, be happy with, especially trainers. That's the pair we've got, which, odd style, I think. Those two, be happy with either of those. And then on the other side, we've got accessories. So makeup, obviously not very useful for wearing. But the other items, I feel we could work with these. Again, cats, obviously, not really the accessory we want. And then we've got some more shoes here, which I've got those and those. Those are nice. I'd like those. But we'll see what we get. Okay, and here she is, head swap now. I don't think the match is too bad. I'm alright with that. Now, I don't know about you, but sometimes when I get a doll, I just instantly know what I'm going to call them. And that happened with this doll, so she is called Daniela. Welcome to the team. Now, just for this video, I am going to keep her rather odd box hair. It's got sort of a lot of product in to keep these curls, but obviously because it's been squished in the box, they're a bit flat. But if I brush it and wash it, they're going to go. So we will enjoy it just for this video before I try and sort her hair out. I think before we try and style anything, let's open another capsule, though, just to see what we get. And I'm guessing this one's not going to open any nice... Look, it's... I have that a lot. They seem to open... 
like halfway and then split into two. These ones are just not coming off very nicely. Let me get the... Come on, come on. Ah, yay, we got that one off better though. All right, capsule number two. Let's hope we get something new and interesting. So first up we get... Okay, so I said I wouldn't mind the clear bag. Just take out the tissue. Now obviously a clear bag is maybe not the most safe because you can see what's in it. I don't know if you're meant to put like a little lining bag in it almost, but it's black and that's neutral. We can work with that. So the front, it has a MF logo. The chain, it pulls through. It's got these little pearl details, which is sweet. All right, I'm, I'm happier with that one. I think we can work with that one. So what accessories are we gonna match with it? Okay, so we have the flip-flops. These are kind of cool. They're black and white with a little floral pattern. Yeah, it's quite sweet. So as long as it does fit on Barbie's foot and not slide off, we're all good. We then have this bow, which has a matching flower design to the shoes. You can just see that there. And it attached to this rubber bit. We'll see where I decide to put this on the outfit. So the last item is this pair of glasses. They've got white rims and the lenses are a houndstooth pattern. And you know what, I'm definitely pleased with this capsule more than the first one because I can work with this. I've got hounds tooth printed like clothing. My doll Mel, I think suits it, so I have quite a few things in that. Okay, so here she is in a little hounds tooth dress to go with those glasses. I said to put the bow in her hair, I thought that looked cute. The shoes are a little bit big and loose. Maybe a curvy would fit a bit better in them, but yeah. They're a touch loose. Her toes sort of maybe should go to about here. But overall, I don't mind this sort of black and white look. I think she's quite cute, and the fact that she already had pearl earrings goes with the little pearls on the bag. Okay, so I've done this for the first items we got. I picked this skirt just because the stitching, it kind of was more on a sort of goldy colour, so I just thought it went nicely with the belt. The bag is just so Pacific, I didn't want to go anything too fussy because it's quite a standout piece itself. The scarf, I mean, we can put it on her, but I just don't think it goes with pink. So there's the scarf. And the shoes I'm just not keen on at all. They are too big. Look, her toes are sort of here. I did manage to get the buckles up. Not too badly, though. I mean, again, maybe with the slightly bigger foot of the tall Barbies and the curvy Barbies, but on her, no. Annoyingly, I'm sure I do have a pink top in this sort of pink colour, but I could not find it at all. So that's why I just went with plain. We're going to look at her like this and ignore those shoes. Okay, so we're on to our second of the twin packs and our third capsule. Oh, it's nearly better. Right, so personally, I'm hoping for trainers. Let's see what I actually get. Nope, wasn't clean. Okay, come on, trainers. So, bag first, and we get... Okay, so it's a white bag with three roses as a pattern. It has gold stud details and a gold buckle. It's got a magnet fastening. Paper out. So, I mean, the good thing is, with mini fashion, there's always nice room to put all your Barbie's things in. And the strap is a chain, so you could either have it long, or if you wanted, you could double up and have it shorter. Okay, so let's see what accessories this bag comes with then. Here we are, we have a pink hat. It's a baseball cap, and it's got a really nice sort of um, moulded texture. On the front we have printed details, we have more roses, we've got the words mini fashion, we've got MF and some hearts. We do have some red nails. Which, until I get duplicates of nails, I'm just not willing to use, because I kind of want to keep them in case I want them for something specific. We did, however, get trainers. So these also have a rose print design. They have real working laces, which is nice. They've got a tongue, which does move. Okay, I'm, I'm actually pleased with those. I'm fine with that. Okay, so I said, let's just go all out pink, because why not? I mean, she does have also a pearl earring, so we've got sort of white and white. I thought the darker pink could sort of bring out the outlines of the roses. And well, I just have these cute pink trousers, so why not? So the trainers are a bit loose on her. Maybe I should have picked a curvy doll for this. Open the capsules first and then choose the right Barbie for dressing up. But we picked Daniela and we will stick with her. But as these are only a little bit loose, I think curvy or tall Barbie would be really good in these. Maybe in the last capsule we'll get something less pink. 
Okay, so we've got our hopes of riding on this last capsule. I'm now hoping for boots because they seem to fit the like standard body Barbie better. And can we get, no, we can't get one nice peel. Well, and this one's not gonna be great because the uh, top layer didn't peel off very well. Yep, there we go. Right, and let's hope not to fade it by saying hopefully no duplicates because we've done very well for that so far. So inside we get, it's not a duplicate, but it is more pink. I feel Mini Fashion is telling me Barbie is pink. She is not red. But don't get me wrong, I like this back. So it's got sort of like a woven like hessian texture at the bottom and then leather effect at the top. It's got a little metal mini fashion logo. The handles are in the woven material and it's a nice deep bag so you can put a lot of your Barbie's accessories inside. Okay, so let's see what accessories this comes with. So we've got some gold stick on nails, this black beret, and apparently red and pink are fine together because we have these and I really like these. So these are trainers but platforms. They work on the bottoms a bit so-so. But that's fine, we're not looking at the bottom. It's got a painted zip detail on the back. MF logo, real working laces. And that's quite a cute feature. They are sort of moulded plastic but they're made to sort of represent the little sort of material tags you get to help pull on your boots. Okay, I like those. Okay, so again, I have gone quite plain. I am certainly no stylist, I think we can see that. But this pink bag, I just didn't feel was really going with those red trainers. I mean, I like the trainers. Again, they are a little bit loose, but because they go up that little bit more, it's not as noticeable. And at least she's got something that goes with her nice red lipstick. The berry, berries are very like narrow. So I'm not 100% sure how to style them. It keeps sort of popping up whenever I try and sort of put it on her head. But it sort of balances on there, okay-ish. See, there we go, without the bag, I'm I'm okay with that as a look. I feel you can see like what my personal dress sense is from how I dress these dolls. Quite simple, quite plain, nothing too outlandish. But you know what, nothing wrong with that. Simplicity it can be nice. You know what, maybe we should throw in the bag we got from the first capsule. And of course these glasses too. Okay, I quite like that now. It's sort of chic, but slightly casual with the trainers. So thank you very much for joining me as I opened some more of the mini brands fashion capsules. I really love wave three and I honestly can't believe I've not had any duplicates yet, which I just jinxed myself there, I know. I think we did get some good items. I think the least favorite for me was the pink shoes. I think my favorite though were the red shoes. There are certainly some more items I would like to find. So fingers crossed if I get more capsules, I will be in luck. And I'd like to welcome again Daniela to the team. Hopefully she will soon be joined by the Lux dolls. I'm still waiting for my Wave 3 to be dispatched. Unfortunately on Mattel Creations, it seems that they normally take about two to three weeks. That's my experience at any rate. I'm just jealous because I've seen so many people on like Instagram and YouTube who've got theirs already. But never mind, patience is a virtue. I enjoyed opening these capsules today and if you like this video, please do hit thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, do subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye.